Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in my face poster tutorial series. In this first tutorial you will learn how to record the sound files that you can use to lip sync in face poster. The first thing you should do is download a program that can um, make the files we want. So I'll be using uh, Audacity in my tutorials and I will prov provide a download link for this program in um, the description. So download and install this program and then we can continue with the tutorial. Now we need to make sure we have the right settings for our sound files because we require very specific settings for FacePoser. We can figure out these settings by going to developer.valvesoftware.com and searching for FacePoser. Then click that link there. I will provide a direct link to this place. Files should be 4-bit Microsoft ADPCM mono web files at 44 kilohertz. So we change these settings by opening up Audacity and going to Preferences under Edit, going to Audio I slash O, change the channels to mono, and make sure that your quality is set to 44,100 hertz and then go to the file formats tab and make sure you have set your uncompressed export format to WAV Microsoft 4-bit MS ADPCM. Now we can start recording uh, our sound. So just hit the record button and say something awesome. It's so much fun using FacePoser. Um, now, if you don't have a very good mic, you want my, you might want to do some uh, noise reduction on that. So select a piece of noise on your track, and go to Effect and Noise Removal. And with that piece of noise selected, click Get Noise Profile. Now it has taken that piece of sound and um, found out how the noise from your microphone sounds. So select all of your sound and go to Effect Noise Removal again and click Remove Noise. Now your sound will sound uh, less noisy, hopefully. I don't really need that with my mic, but if you don't have a very good mic, it can be a good thing to know. One other effect you want to use is Amplify to make sure your uh, files are as loud as possible. Because otherwise you might get very very low sounds in the game. And when you've done that, you should just cut off the ends and beginnings of your file. Just to make sure that uh, your files are as optimized as possible. And uh, now you're ready to save your file to anywhere you want. I'm calling mine uh, fun using faceposer.web because that's very fitting to me. And uh, that's all for this tutorial. Now you know how to make a sound file that can be used in Faceposer. Click this link here to go to the next video tutorial in this series.